Hi, in this video we're going to look at uh, 1G from the Oxford Maths Admissions Test from 2018. Uh, this one says we've got two parabolas with equations y equals x squared plus c and y squared equals x and they're going to touch at a single point uh, and which of the following must c be in that case? Well, uh, to find where the curves intersect, obviously we uh, our initial thought should be to try and solve these simultaneously uh, but uh, one has y and x squared, the other has y squared and x so either way we're going to end up with a slightly awkward uh, thing but let's give it a go so maybe I take the first one and I write uh, y squared equals x squared plus c squared and then the second equation is y squared equals x so that would lead me to want to look at something like x squared plus c all squared equals x or alternatively uh, we could write the second one as uh, y to the 4 equals x squared and then substitute that in for x squared over here so I'd have something like y equals y to the 4 plus c and I think the thing to notice here is that neither of these are particularly nice. Now one way of solving a question that says uh, we've just got a single uh, intersection is that I might be able to do some rearrangement of one of these equations and and say they have a repeated root somehow and uh, that that means they've just got this one intersection but uh, the, the, you know that works very nicely when you say, say the object is a quadratic or a disguised quadratic you can just say the discriminant is equal to zero or something like that but here we've got these quartics and uh, you know, I've got a in the cortex that also have linear terms in them, so they're not going to have that nice structure. But there's a clue in the question that says they touch, that is, they meet tangentially. So uh, if you think about what these uh, curves are going to look like, we've got y squared equals x, which you should be able to uh, recognize as the parabola, but uh, you know, I mean, the other way around from how it's usually you know, how, how we draw y equals x squared, it's uh, with uh, the roles of x and y reversed and y equals x squared plus c so that's just the y equals x squared but shifted up the page by the constant so it's going to be some point here, well I'm doing this terribly but you get the, get the idea here hopefully that this, this is going to go through, it's got its minimum here at c uh, but at this point here because they meet tangentially not only do they intersect but at this point uh, they're going to share a, a, a tangent and sharing a tangent means that their gradient at that point uh, is going to be equal. So, uh, so if I work out uh, in the first one here, um, uh, dy by dx. Okay, so I get that the gradient of the first curve here uh, is equal to two x. And for the second one, okay, y squared equals x. I don't think you're required to know about any implicit differentiation formula here, um, but actually in fact you, if you think about this curve we can just deal with the, the po positive part of it here, so we can just we're just also, it's just the same as looking at y equals the square root of x here, I can ignore the bottom part here which would be y equals minus the square root of x so, uh, so for y equals the square root of x, which is x to the one half I've got dy by dx equals one half x to the minus one half so uh, these two gradients are going to be equal then where 2x equals uh, 1 half x to the minus 1 half so 1 half times 1 over the square root of x so if I multiply uh, through by uh, the square root of x here I get uh, x root x or x to the 3 over 2 uh, is equal to 1 quarter so I need to square and take the cube root so uh, well actually why don't I just say for now that x is equal to one quarter to the two thirds so I've got my x value um, and so the uh, so, so this value of x is the point where the two curves meet so if I go back to this equation that I had here uh, and plug in the value of x that I've just found then that will tell me the value of c 
so I've got one quarter to the two thirds uh, all squared plus c squared is going to be equal to uh, x which is one quarter to the two thirds and hopefully this shouldn't be too hard to deal with now so one quarter to the two thirds squared is uh, one quarter to the four thirds uh, plus, so plus c so if I square root both sides here or raise to the power of a half both sides on this side I'm going to get one quarter to the two thirds to the half so to the one third uh, so that means that c is going to be uh, one quarter to the one third minus one quarter to the uh, to the four thirds and uh, so I just need to combine these uh, now in a sensible way so uh, one quarter to the to the one third so that's one over the cube root of four uh, one quarter to the four thirds that's one over uh, well so it's four, four to the one and times four to the one third so four times the cube root of four then uh, I can just put these over a common denominator now uh, running out of running out of space here but let's put this here so this is going to be equal to uh, so I have to multiply this first one by uh, four top and bottom so I've got four over four times the cube root of four minus one over four times the cube root of four so that gives me a final answer of three over four times the cube root of four uh, and that is one of the answers here that's b three over four times the cube root of four so i got a little bit messy at the end there but hopefully you can follow that so key there really to to read the question pick up on the extra clue that we've got here that where they intersect uh, they're actually uh, sharing a tangent as well so the gradient is the same and then just follow through with uh, the uh, algebra and you know as ever in this paper it requires you to have real fluency in those techniques from AS of just dealing with indices and thirds and things and doing all of that stuff routinely and quickly so I hope that was useful I'm going to keep doing these there'll be a playlist of the whole paper uh, by the time uh, when I finished making them all let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or if you had a better way of doing this and I will see you in the next one